Hello and welcome back. We are doing our series on the chakras and this week we are talking about the third eye chakra which is located in the center of the forehead or right between the eyes. The color associated with this is indigo and the third eye also known as anja, anja um, gives us the ability to see the bigger picture. It helps us to connect to our intuition and to observe below the surface of things. And how we know that our third eye is unbalanced might be things such as lack of faith in our purpose, or the point we feel pointless or unable to set goals, poor memory or vision, or feeling indecisive or insignificant. And a few uh, ways to help with the healing or balancing of your third eye chakra would include you could use crystals and any of these can be used by themselves or obviously in comp um, conjunction or complementary along with your asanas your meditation and your and or your practice so crystals such as amethyst blue blue or clear quartz, sodalite, star sapphire, or lapis lazuli. You can use these crystals by placing them underneath the front corner of your mat. You can put them inside your clothing. You can meditate with them on your body. Uh, you can also put them in a little, what we call a little mojo bag here and carry them around with you. So these are some of my, my crystals. And also, uh, another way to help balance your or unblock your chakra would be essential oils, such as lavender, lemongrass, frankincense, clary sage, or sandalwood. Sandalwood, you've probably heard mentioned quite a bit. That's a very um, grounding and often used essential oil during meditation and or your asana practice. You can use them in a diffuser. You can apply them topically, you can inhale them, and use that throughout the day as well, or in a diffuser um, personal jewelry. Also, um, basil, marjoram, and patchouli. So there's plenty of different oils depending on what your likes and dislikes are. And foods, there are different foods you can help balance your chakras, and for the third eye chakra, you want bluish foods such as plums, blackberries, purple potatoes, or eggplant. And then of course our asanas to practice to help balance the chakra would be easy pose, which is sakrasana, which is a great one for meditating as well. Candle gazing, uh, or gazing at the stars or moon or child's pose. And this one can be done yogi's choice, either regular child's pose or an extended child's pose. So the third eye, again, is in the middle of the forehead. The element is light. Your mantra is A or M. And this is to help you see the big picture, to help use your imagination to be creative and be able to make decisions essential oils that I've mentioned, or clary sage, marjoram, lemongrass, patchouli, or sandalwood, as well as crystals such as amethyst, blue quartz, sodalite, uh, and um, star sapphire. So any of these can be used together, such as the crystals with your on your mat or carrying them with you keeping them close, maybe even putting them on your body while you're meditating. And um, again, some of the ailments or ways that you can ascertain whether your third eye is unbalanced would be things such as headaches or poor vision, but also lack of faith in your purpose. Sorry, I spelled that wrong. Um, unable to set goals, poor memory, and feeling indecisive or insignificant. So, and uh, a good mantra would be, I am open to exploring that which cannot be seen. So that's something, um, some things you can start thinking about for your third eye chakra to help you know whether it's imbalanced or if it's blocked and ways to help you 
be able to see the big picture, to be able to have a healthy and harmonious uh, physical, emotional, and spiritual life. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you found some value in this. Please share below some comments about when you're balancing your third eye chakra. Which one of these do you use, uh, if any of these, or maybe something different? Please let me know below the, uh, if it's the asanas or meditation, foods, essential oils, or crystals. I'd love to hear from you, and I look forward to seeing you next week as we discuss the seventh and final chakra, which is the crown. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Be sure to take care of yourself so you can help take care of others.